Welcome back, Wolfpack. Rolls here, and this is how to use Salamence. Salamence, ah, that pseudo legendary Pokemon. Huge stats, just a lot of craziness overall. 100 speed, starting to get into that competitive realm. Not the fastest, but it can make work of it. 110 special attack. 110 special attack and 100 speed is already like higher than a lot of Pokemon we've already seen. Then also has 135 attack, 95 on the base hit points. While the defenses aren't insane, they're not super frail, so Salamence, even uninvested defense, is a two hit. KO Pokemon really reliably, so we're just looking at a really somewhat bulky Pokemon with good offensive stats, and it can just round out really well and be a fairly strong Pokemon. Now when we look at its typing, Dragon Flying. As long as it doesn't get too cold outside, you know, it doesn't start snowing, we don't have any icy weather on the way, Salamence is going to do alright. It is weak against Rock and Dragon on, as well, but overall we're going to have some decent durability, strong, like not a lot of neutral hits and just some main weaknesses to consider, but you know, it's Pokemon. Your opponent's trying to hit you super effective already, so if you can get around it, you're going to be okay. Hopping into Pokemon Showdown, Salamence is weird because there's so many different ways of running it, that this is going to be more of a guide for Salamence. That's not the absolute final definition of this is exactly how you run Salamence, which is kind of true of most of my guides, but just going to drive that point home on this one the most because a lot of people will say a lot of different things about the most optimal Salamence. These are more or less my two cents about it. That my idea of the most optimized Salamence is going to be for Moxie with a mixed special kind of shenanigans setup. That you get, you invest enough in your special attack to where Draco Meteor is going to hit hard against most Pokemon. That if you have Stealth Rock set up, Draco Meteor can have a strong neutral KO potential. If you're bringing it on a lower Pokemon, that the Pokemon has around half health, Draco Meteor is going to be a fairly reliable, well 90% reliable, a uh, way to knock out your opponent. Life Orb is going to boost a lot of damage. That I was thinking running Naive Nature, that way you have a lot of outspeeds. And then, you know, you go into that. Moxie is going to boost your attack. And then you have Life Orb, so I mean, you transition physical. Dragon Claw, whatever neutral, Earthquake and Rock Slide, whatever super. And then you can snowball it from there. As long as you don't get outsped. Like, the only weakness here is getting outsped. Moxie is going to keep proccing, and your damage potential just keeps going up. Then, you know, Draco Meteor. Boom, just knock out that opponent right there, plus one on the attack. Dragon Claw or hit him super effective or like coverage out with that, that could be another KO. Even then, remember, Salamence has good bulk without any investment. Could be a two-hit KO Pokemon as long as they don't bring anything that outright supers you. If they don't have any of those Pokemon left, they're in trouble because then you pick them off with Salamence. Now you're at plus two with Moxie and you could just kind of clean sweep from there. Even then, Salamence is going to be a good revenge Pokemon, potentially converting another KO, if not high damage from there pretty reliably, so I think it's alright. If you get Sticky Web set up on it, it's going to be, be extra strong, so that's what we're looking at with this set. Now you can also Scarf Moxie Salamence, but I don't. I think that that has its own weaknesses behind it, that I was thinking if you're going to run any kind of Scarf Salamence, it's mostly going to be doubles, and even then, Salamence shouldn't be your hard sweeper from there. That Choice Scarf takes away a lot of damage, and that unless you're, like, uh, what you're going to see mostly is a Special Attack Salamence. That with that Draco Meteor, with that Flamethrower, with that Dragon Pulse, you know, there's still a good amount of damage. You can go into that Modest Nature because your Scarf is making you so fast. And that's really all it's about, that in doubles, secondary sweeper. Come in, Draco Meteor, maybe get the switch out, maybe just try to, like, hit as much damage as possible and have another stronger Pokemon or Mega Pokemon clean it up from there. Then Salamence can shine. Other than that, I just don't see the merits in Choice Scarf Salamence. Because even then, say you are running Moxie, like, it's going to be hard to kind of scout out that first KO unless you can guarantee that you're going to get that revenge pickup. If you can guarantee the revenge pickup, there's some good potential because now your attack is getting boosted, but you do become predictable. That, you know, it's like, oh, this Pokemon outsped me, of course it's going to be Scarfed, and then you don't have too much coverage from there. That you're essentially going to be Earthquake, Rock Slide, and Dragon Claw are almost any Salamence, and Rock Slide can be walled out, Earthquake and Dragon Claw have immunities, so your momentum can kind of get shut down really quick, and then if they, if you come in in the late game and you can't pick off a fresh Pokemon with high hit points, you're very susceptible, so that's why it's like, all the guides are weird, a lot of people will praise Cho Choice Scarf Salamence, I don't think so, I think it's all about that Life Orb mixed transitioning, where you get the most out of Salamence, and even then, Mega Salamence might be like super bustedly overpowered in a lot of people's eyes, but you can kind of do that with regular Salamence, that it's going to be harder to set up. That Mega Salamence has a lot of reliability in setting up. But regular Salamence can do it too. It only has 10 less attack than Mega Salamence, 145 to 135. And the speed is kind of getting covered up by the Dragon Dancing anyways. Really the only thing that makes Mega Salamence so strong is that defense boost. That with the defense boost, it just makes it harder to knock out with physical ice attacks or rock slide or any kind of physical attack. 
so it makes your uh, Dragon Dance setup more reliable. And then there also is Aerial Eight. Aerial Eight makes to where Sal Mega Salamence gets to, like plus one and have a lot of damage, but regular Salamence just needs to plus two. With this though, you can still do it. You can still go for that Dragon Dance. And I was thinking with the hit point investment, with the Citrus Berry, you know, now you're a three hit KO Pokemon, potentially four hit KO Pokemon. You know, your opponent has to switch out because they see you setting up Dragon Dance. They don't have a lot of raw damage. You know, with this setup, you might be able to survive that hit, get that Dragon Dance, survive another hit to get the Dragon Dance, and now you're kind of on Mega Salamence's level. Not quite, but you still have a lot of speed, not many things will be able to catch you, and then you just have a lot of damage, so you coverage out again. Dragon Dance, Rock Slide, Earthquake. Um, there are some other moves that you can put in. Fire Fang is going to help against specifically Ferrothorn, um, Scizor. But other than that, you know, it's not going to be too much, that you're really going to have to hit super effective hits, or just throw out the Dragon Claw. Fire Fang hitting super effective is going to be slightly stronger than just a neutral Dragon Claw, so it kind of doesn't really pan out too much. Same with Crunch. Crunch you can run, but it's only going to be for super effective hits, and same with Rock Slide, only super effective hits. So, other than that, you have Earthquake, good coverage, bread and butter. But I was thinking, you know, you don't see Dragon Dance Salamence too often, and it still has that same ridiculous potential as Mega Salamence, just a little less durable, so you have to bring in on an opponent's setup Pokemon or opponent's stall Pokemon, then you break them down, you go and win, happy days. So if you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys just got to think about Salamence uh, a lot, because Salamence is very strong, has a lot of crazy diversity, and if you're not me running at Mega, you're okay. I already did a Mega Guide, so you can check that out as well. If you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope you all have a nice day.